Hello and welcome! I've actually watched a couple of reviews of the Casking Spartacus reel that I'm gonna show you in a moment and decided to make one of my own as I've been using it for years and bought another one for the spring season which is gonna start pretty soon I hope. Sorry guys, wrong box, we need this one. You can also like the video as it helps Google algorithm to rank it higher in search and subscribe if you want to support the channel. Let's open the box and as you can see we've got this beauty inside. I've chosen green color for two main reasons. The first one is that it fades in with the grass if you cast from shore and the second one is that it stands out as the majority of reels are plain black. There are other colors available and you can check them out on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. Actually, there is a newer version of this reel, series 2, but I've bought the first series as I'm already used to it. I will talk about the features of this beauty throughout the video and answer a few most common questions people ask in the end, so make sure you'll stay until the end. This reel has 6.3 to 1 gear ratio, which means that for every full rotation of the handle, you are gonna be bringing 26.8 inches of line per turn, which is quite impressive. I wouldn't say that this reel is very light, as it weighs 10.2 ounces, but you can barely feel it if used for example with G Loomis E6X rod. I'll put the link to the rod in the description as well. Now, let's talk about the line capacity. It has 100 yards of 12 pound mono and as you can see the spool is pretty small. But believe me, it's more than enough. It has a non-slip ever handle, so you've got a pretty strong grip even when it's wet. As we move down from handle, we've got star drag, which clicks, and the spool tension, which does not click and is pretty easy to use. It has a pretty nice grisp engagement on the thumb bar, which pushes down clearly and sets clearly. The side plate does have a dual brake system, which you can easily adjust. There is a little push tab, which allows you to access it. You just simply pull that and slide the side plate down and it comes off. Inside, we've got microcast centrifugal braking system, which can be adjusted by moving this wheel. The harder you set it up, the more pressure it will have at the beginning of the cast. It is a great feature if you just start your journey with bait casters. In general, I would say that it is a great reel from a brand that I really trust and can recommend to all. Now, as promised, I'll answer a few most common questions that people have about this reel. Will you often get a tangle line while casting with it or a bird's nest? Well, in all the years that I've been using it, it happened to me a few times, but mainly as I was just starting out using bait casters and didn't know how to cast properly with it. Does it make a winding noise while casting? I would say definitely yes. Not very loud, but it does. Before I finish, you can like the video so that Google algorithm would rank it higher in search and subscribe if you've enjoyed watching and would like to support the channel. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.